Great Britain, an island that has become familiar to many. But what is now the United Kingdom has not always looked the same as it does right now. In the past, it has looked very different. Even just 30,000 years ago, it was joined to continental Europe. And back in the Jurassic Age, 150 million years ago, all of Europe was scattered into islands. It is this range of changes which have allowed many fossils to be preserved in the UK. Fossils include those of marine reptiles, to massive mammals, to dinosaurs. Even the remains of our ancestors have been found here. If you ever wanted to know more about prehistoric UK, then let's explore some of the extraordinary animals that lived in the past. Pliosaurs were some of the most ferocious animals that ever lived in the seas, and their fossils have also been found in the UK, including that of Lyplorodon. Pliosaurs were the killer whales of the Mesozoic. They were large, powerful animals with teeth twice as large as that of a T-Rex's. These teeth were used to crush muscle, break bone, and puncture marks have been found in the bones of plesiosaurs. Plesiosaurs were marine reptiles with incredibly long necks, which were probably used to help find fish while searching through the sea. And it would seem by looking at the fossil record that the favourite food of pliosaurs were plesiosaurs, long-necked marine reptiles, and we know this by looking at their bones. Some of them have got puncture marks in them, which were left by the teeth are pliosaurs eating the flesh of these animals. A vast number of mammoth fossils have been found in the North Sea, showing that continental Europe was once connected to the UK. This would allow mammoths, woolly rhinos and other Ice Age animals to travel between. Despite their success during the Ice Age, just like many large mammals that lived during the time, they became extinct. And it's been a bit of a mystery to why these creatures died out, and we're still in the process of understanding what happened. Fossils of pterosaurs have also been found here, including their teeth, which would have been used to grab fish out of the water. While some animals are hard to imagine that would have been alive in prehistoric times in the UK, not everything was so different. There would have been crustaceans and fish, yet they may have looked a little bit more bizarre than what we see today. And while you might not expect it from the modern climate in the UK, there were also crocodiles with some well-preserved specimens, including that of Stenosaurus being discovered. The teeth of a plant-eating dinosaur, which would inspire its name, have also been found here. This is a Guanodon. A Guanodon was one of the most successful dinosaurs ever to have lived, with fossils being found in North America, Europe and Africa. Dinosaurs are the most famous group of prehistoric animals that have lived on the planet, and they are no exception to the UK. In fact, Dinosaur paleontology was born in the UK. Some of the dinosaurs that have been discovered are very familiar looking, such as Megalosaurus. Megalosaurus was the first dinosaur described to science, and it could grow to a length of around 9 metres, so it was a pretty large dinosaur. It may not have been the biggest theropod ever discovered, but it would lead to an incredible breakthrough in our knowledge in the prehistoric world. Yet other dinosaurs are more bizarre, such as Baryonyx. Baryonyx is one of the most remarkable dinosaurs ever found, and has actually led to being the blueprint of many of its relatives, including the famous Spinosaurus. It might not have had an impressive sail like Spinosaurus, but it would be the first of its relatives to prove that Spinosaurus did eat fish, as the specimen that was discovered in the UK had fish scales where the stomach would have been, in its stomach contents. So we know that this dinosaur probably ate fish just before it died. This is the claw of Baryonyx, which means heavy claw. And as you can see, it's quite easy to see why it's named that. It's huge. 
and bionics would have used these claws to help catch fish. When the animal would have used this, it would have had a keratin sheath and would have been a lot larger than what we actually have in the fossil record. But we also know that baryonyx wasn't just limited to eating fish by looking at its stomach contents. We know that Spinosaurus would have eaten other dinosaurs as the bones of a Megranodon were also found in its stomach. Sauropods were the largest groups of animals that ever walked the earth. Sauropods have been discovered around the world, and some of the most famous names include the Plodocus, Apatosaurus, Argentinosaurus, but there were also sauropods in the UK during the Jurassic times, including Cediosaurus. But the fossils found of one animal have made it very iconic in the UK. These are ichthyosaurs. They would have swam like fish, looked like dolphins, but were actually marine reptiles. Having an aerodynamic head, fins, and a streamlined body would have helped make it swim more efficiently, which is why it would have looked very similar to today's dolphins. These creatures, some being bizarre and some being more familiar to us, are an example of some of the amazing animals that once lived in the United Kingdom in prehistoric times.